got stories, got time to spend with you. Hey, it's Franklin. Come in your house. Hey, it's Franklin. Come into my house. Hey, it's Franklin. could count by twos and tie his shoes. He liked making up games and playing with his friends. But one gloomy day, Franklin had no one to play with. So he had to learn to play on his own. Okay, it's your turn. Roll the dice. One, two, three. Up the ladder. You won this time, Goldie. Want to play again? Me neither. <sighs> There's never anything to do on rainy days, is there, Goldie? Franklin, if you want some raisins, take them out of here. There's nothing to do, Mom. Hmm. Aren't you the young turtle who has a room full of toys and games? Yeah, but I need someone to play toys and games with. Why don't you put that card together that Granny gave you? That's something you can do on your own. No, it isn't. There's a million pieces and the constructions don't make sense. The instructions don't make sense. I know! I need you to help me. I'd like to help you, Franklin, but I've got too much to do right now. Maybe later. <sighs> I wish it was a school day. Where's Dad? Still fixing the washer, I think. Maybe he'll do something with me. And what's this one called, Dad? I can't look right now, son. This one. <laughs> That's a pipe wrench. A pipe wrench. Uh. Oops. Gee, we sure have lots of paint, don't we, Dad? Yes, we do. And there's our Christmas tree stand. Franklin, don't you have something to do? I'm waiting for you. After I finish this washing machine, I still have all this laundry to do. Can I help so you'll be finished faster? Well, I'm glad you'd like to help, but there just isn't enough room for two turtles. Okay. Maybe you can have a snack. I smell something good up there. What are you doing? Spinning. <laughs> Doesn't that make you dizzy? Kinda. You still can't think of anything to do? I'm waiting for Dad. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It looks to me as if your father has a lot of work ahead of him. What are you going to do while you're waiting? Uh, I'm not going to do this anymore. Maybe what you need is a little fresh air. Why don't you take some raisin buns over to Bear's house? That's a great idea, Mom. Bear will be glad to see me. He's probably even more bored than I am. I'll get it, Mom. Franklin! Hi, Bear. I brought you some... You've got to see this game I've made. It's so neat. Come on, I'll show you. Your marble won again, Franklin. This is neat, Bear. And I made it myself. Mom didn't even help me. Did you, Mom? 
No, you did it all on your own. See? Let's have another race. It's fun. Okay. Sorry to interrupt your race, Bear, but we need to make another trip back to the lumber yard. Aww. How come? For some funny reason, I don't have enough nails for my last shelf. Oh. <laughs> you and Frankton will be able to play again later. You can borrow my marble game till I get back if you want. Thanks, Bear. <laughs> you be the blue one this time? I think you can play on your own now for a while. I'd really like to finish getting these letters written. But it's not as much fun by myself, Mom. What else could I do? Franklin, I can't keep thinking of things for you to do. You should have some ideas of your own. But I can't think of any good ones right now. And playing by myself is no fun. <sighs> I'll show you one more thing. But after that, you'll have to entertain yourself for a while. Thanks, Mom. Now, push over the first domino and see what happens. Wow, that looks neat! Now you can try setting them up in a different pattern. some carrots to Mr. Moles. Why can't you keep playing? He left his umbrella for you. It's just not the same playing by myself. Ah, getting set to go outside, are you, son? I'm glad to see you're not letting a little rain spoil your day. I just came from outside. It's never going to stop raining. There's nothing to do. No one will play with me. And I'm really, really bored. Well, I am. Have a seat here, Franklin. We're not sitting down to play dominoes, are we? No, we're not. We're going to have a little talk. Franklin, everyone has to learn how to play alone some of the time. That's right. Your friends can't be around to entertain you all the time, and neither can we. If you invited one of your friends over to play, you'd have no trouble thinking of something fun to do, right? Yeah, there's always stuff to do when you've got someone to play with. Well, what if you pretend that you are the friend you invited over? You mean invite myself instead of bear or rabbit? Absolutely. It'd be kind of funny, but I guess I could. With your great imagination, I'm sure you and yourself will have lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I mean, we'll try. Do you think I could invite myself over to help with the housework? Don't laugh. My uncle always used to invite himself to dinner so he could eat twice as much as anyone else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop raining. Yeah, me neither. Hello, boys. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. Can Franklin come out and play? He's out in the garden shed playing dominoes, Bear. By himself? <laughs> I did hear him talking to someone out there, but he might just be talking to himself. Gee, he must be really bored. He'll be glad to see us. Come on. Dr. 
Mr. Franklin. Thank you. I always get my best ideas on rainy days. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Franklin. Do you want to play soccer with us? Um, uh, maybe later on. What are you doing? I made an invention. Do you want to see it? Sure. Okay. Neat, huh? Hey, my umbrella. And that's my marble game. I'll show you how it works. Franklin, you did this yourself? It's really neat. You guys were busy, so I made this game up all by myself. Can we set it up and make it go again? Yeah, can we? Sure. I know. Let's make it even bigger. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. <laughs> Franklin tells time. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He knew the days of the week and the months of the year. But Franklin wanted to know about the hours and minutes too, so he could be on time for the things he liked to do. And this unusual timepiece was invented thousands of years ago. Wow! Gee, neat! It's really old! It's called a sundial, and it has numbers around the outside too. But it has no hour or minute hands. If I turn it this way, the shadow points between the eight and the nine. Who can show me that time on our big clock? Me! Oh, I show can you. show you. I know what it is. Yeah. Me too. Sure. Me. Uh, Beaver. It's half past the hour, so the minute hand goes down to the six. And the hour hand goes between the eight and the nine. That's the time I get on the bus every morning. She's right. It's easy. I knew that with my eyes closed. Yes. That's simple enough, isn't it? Are there any questions? Nope. Yeah. It's easy. No, I get it. Good. So, who hasn't had a turn at setting our clock? Franklin hasn't had a turn yet. Well, step up here, Franklin, and show us the time of day. It could be the time you go to bed, or um, the time you get up in the morning, any time at all. Hmm. Um, what time is this, Franklin? It's now. <laughs> so it is. And it's also time for us to gather up our things for home. Yep, time for the bus. Oh boy, the weekend! Yay, tomorrow's Saturday! Great! Don't forget to take home a soccer schedule. Hey, we've got a game tomorrow. Yes, it shows all the times for your games and practices.
Franklin, I'd buy a watch. <sighs> what good is a watch if you can't tell time? Let's see. If the big hand is on the 12, and the little hand is on the 3, then it's 3 quarter past... Oh, no, that's not right. one who can't figure this out. Hey, Franklin. <gasps> what are you doing? Nothing, just throwing stuff in the pond. Check this out. I borrowed it from the library. Build your own go-kart. You know how to build a go-kart? Pretty soon I will. This book has lots of pictures to show you how to do it. Hmm. Hey, that's what I need. Yeah, if we both built one, we could have races. No, not a go-kart, a book. Thanks, Rabbit. You're welcome. Teddy Bear's Tea Time, The Time Travelers, Just In Time Justin. Here it is. Let's tell time. I'll take this home, and by Monday, I'll know how to tell time like everyone else. Hi, Franklin. Hi. <gasps> what book are you taking out today? Uh, I I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm still looking. I know. It's hard to pick just one, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I always pick five. Library card, please, Franklin. My library card? It's at home. If you're going to borrow a book, I need your card. Oh, uh, can I take the book now and bring my card in later? I'm afraid that would be against library rules. Oh. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll hold this for you right here until you come back with your card. Thanks, Mrs. Goose. Don't forget, we close at half past four on Saturdays. Half past four. Got it. Oh, no! It can't be closed yet. Not today. Mrs. Goose told me it closed at half past four. Huh? 4.30 and half past four are the same thing. Oh, right. Mr. Owl just taught us that. Don't you remember? <sighs> I can't tell time, Bear. I know everybody else can, but I can't. How come? I don't know. I guess I'm just not smart enough. Not smart enough? You're the smartest turtle I know. I sure don't feel that way. You're the best in our class at adding and subtracting numbers. I do know how to do that. Yeah, and what about making paper airplanes? You knew how to do that before anyone else I know. You even taught me. I taught Fox and Rabbit, too. See, you're really smart. That's not what the others will say if they find out I can't tell time. You won't tell anyone, will you, Bear? No, I won't tell anyone. But why don't you talk to Mr. Owl? He could help you. I can't ask him in front of everyone. What should I do? You could go after school. Do you think Mr. Owl will mind? I don't think so. He's a teacher. That's what he's there for. Here I 
go. Hello, Mr. Owl. Ah, oh, Franklin, come in. What brings you here after school? I need help with something. I'd be glad to help you. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Even if it's after school? Certainly. I have several students that come after school for extra help. You do? I thought I would be the only one. <laughs> oh no, Franklin. We all need a little extra help now and then. So, what seems to be the problem, hmm? Well, everyone knows how to tell time. Except me. Learning how to tell time isn't easy. I had trouble with it myself when I was small. You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> but eventually I got it sorted out just like you will. I don't know, Mr. Owl. My friends all learned how to tell time in a week. What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. We all learn new skills at our own pace. But it's taking me too long. Oh, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you're here and you want to learn, right? Right. And the sooner we get started, the better. Now, let's think of this clock as a big round pizza you're sharing with your friends. Okay. If you cut it into quarters, each of your friends could have a 15-minute slice. <laughs> oh, I get it. 